Spend the customer base for a moment and think about the shareholders. Uh, what do you think about the American senators' objection to start selling jobs to India? What they care about is the bottom line. What about the union? What about the foreign exit? Do you want to talk about in America and India? Number one, lower costs and modifying Indian assets and culture. Number two, 11 to 1 ratio in wages. Number three, non-existent federal insurance contributions. And number four, our rivals have been there six months already. Unions, screw the union. We're going to India. All right. Now, who are the Yankees? Americans. Yes, but to Americans, they're a baseball team. This is baseball. Watch. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach you a little bit about American voice and accent. Start the video. Now, the problem is that you've got to talk the way they do. Because if you don't, chances are he's going to ask for your supervisor. Hi, this is Vi. We have a special for you today that will help cut the insurance costs on your car by two-thirds. Would that interest you, ma'am? How many hits? 145, so sir. I only have 142. Yes, I won't be getting that. Good luck. See, corridor may be Keep it. Leave it. Give it there. It's my only kameez. I'm so sorry. I should have been dead. Where were you? My interview. What interview? Call center. Take this home. And can you give me 10 rupees for the bus, please? Hello, okay? Yeah, please. Miss Kanna, come in. There's a toilet behind the door. Please go and use it. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plains. You think I'm kidding, don't you? I'm not. Now see, the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plains. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plains. Guarantee? Gar gar guarantee. Calendar. Calendar. Do you mind being called uh, Sue? I'm called Dolly. That's my real name. Got that, Sue? Okay. Good. Uh, you'll have to learn um, the World Series and the Four Seasons, the 51 states. This is the map. Learn it. And this is uh, something the Brits have written. They'll pay you half your salary when you train and then full. Right? Have a nice day. Thanks, man. So in American, how would he say it? He would internet. He would lay stress on the first word, which is perfect. So how would he say? Hot dog. Say it for me. Hot dog. There are special greetings for special days. Special small talk. Look at the worksheets I've given you. The first sheet will tell you about American festivals. Fourth of July, Thanksgiving. They do particular things. They eat particular things. Do you all know what a pie is? A uh, pie is 22 over 7, or 3.142 recurring. First of all, it's recurring, American. And second, that's not what I meant. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Good morning, Manhattan Bank of Commerce. Hi, Jack. Hi. Yeah. Four to five minutes. I think there's no Right on time, Sue. This is your beautiful work and mine. Welcome to the world of the satisfied customer. Why? Good way. Manhattan Bank of Commerce, this is Vai. How may I assist you? Hi, Vai. My name is Herbert Marsh. I'm very old. I'm 87 to be exact. I don't know if you can help. I can't recall my account number. That's not a problem, sir. Why don't you look in your checkbook? I can't find that item. Okay. Well, then, may I have your name, sir, and the name of your branch where you bank? And I'll just ask you three identifying questions. Yes, Herbert Marsh. You know, downtown. Which town is that, Mr. Morris? What do you mean, which town? Where the hell are you? We're out in the country, sir. I wanted the Brooklyn branch. Um, we take all calls here, sir, no matter where you are. I don't get that, young lady. I want someone in New York accounts. That's a okay. Well, we handle all accounts here, sir. So may I have your date of birth, please? I told you it. No, you told me how old you were. You didn't tell me your birthday. That's what I want. You know, the day they sing, happy birthday to you. Hey, Vi, just finger yourself, young lady. Give me your boss. Look, I'm only trying to help you, Mr. Morris. I've come across some pranks in my time, but I tell you why. You take the phone. I don't like your tone of voice, Mr. Morris. It's my money, so it's my tone. And I bet you stink of funk, you sex star. So you know what, Mr. Morris? Piss off. God damn it. Does that happen a lot? No. Only three or four times a day. I'm fed up with, yes, sir, no, sir. You know what, Pratap? I don't need this job. And don't worry, I'll go quietly. Another one bites the dust. Where did you learn this kind of language it's not in the guidebooks guys call and talk dirty so have a good time good luck bye -bye. thanks bye guys so your turn pick up the phone sit here Manhattan Bank of Commerce, this is Sue speaking. How may I assist you today? My account number is 2956207548. I'd like to check my balance. Can I ask your date of birth and the zip code of your address? 182444 and JZZZ55066. That's fine, Mr. Calthorpe. I have your details. I want to extend my spending limit on the card, say to $11,000. I'm afraid I'm not authorized to do that for you, sir. We're still awaiting your payment. You were sent two reminders. I can go elsewhere, you know. You're not the only card in business. Been with you 20 years. Well, I can't authorize an extension, sir. We can consider it after your next payment is made. Look, hospital bills, medical insurance from one company to another. He's a very sick man and he's going through the lot. Spend, spend, spend. Hotels in Bali, Singapore, cars. Must know he's going to die soon. So he's having a fling at our expense. Our expense? I mean, anyway. Here's your ID. Thanks. I thought I would find you here. I've come to save your life. Please don't eat this mug. We don't want you dead yet. <laughs> but is that another cafeteria? Well, not, but uh, see, I make my own sandwiches. You can bring your own. Or maybe we can go to a new barista. It's very convenient. Bagarna ve. Height of daily spending time. Come, let's have some fresh air as much as the smoke allows. The reason I stay happy is 
I think about the way the other half live. You are not for us. You are against us. Things are quite complicated here. Hindus, Muslims, castes, corruption, parents. Dog eats dog and each day new recipe for dog flesh. But isn't it just as complicated anywhere else? No. Simple. Earn, spend, vote and die. You are free. And for purposes of identification, your password for this account? My password is beta, as in the Greek for B. That's correct, sir. My name is Sue. How may I assist you? Well, Sue, I like a balance inquiry. Your balance is $544,872. What? Is there something wrong? Can you tell me what were the last two withdrawals? I can go back a month. There's a lot of withdrawals. Well, how many in the last month? Two a day or sometimes three. When? Fifth, fourth, second, three. Third, four. Thirty-first, two. Thirtieth. Can you tell me where and who? I can tell you where, but I can't tell you who, Mr. Stakowski. You or your wife haven't reported a card missing. No. No, we haven't. Can I do anything else for you? Uh, I, just forget it. I can send you a transcript. It'll give you the addresses from where the withdrawals were made. Is that helpful? Yes. Yes, that would be very helpful. Thank you, Sue. Lift? No, I'm going... Come, come. No, I... Come on. Actually, I... Come on. I'm taking you for breakfast. Pat, I know we get allowance for taxis home, but I just thought that I... Sujata, the name is Pratap to you, not Pat. And don't apologize. You've got your reasons. Feel safer. Save some money. That's your business and I'm only your floor supervisor. I don't own the damn company. I hate the damn company. Really? Sue, Pat, why don't I call myself Rover and lie down and let them tickle my stomach? Or call myself Tom and go and catch some mice for them? I don't mind. You're not in the least bit humiliated, like you've joined their puppet show. No, I don't think so. Humiliated by Dolly. Teaching you how to speak. We've all been through it. Yeah. You need money and it's crap money, but there's even crappier money elsewhere. Yes. I used to be a secretary. This might be a bit better. The bosses are far away. They would have to pay 40 times as much if we were really in Cincinnati. Yeah. India is a little window of opportunity. But if you hate it so much, why don't you quit? Because I'm an idiot. You don't look like an idiot to me. That's the nicest thing anyone has said to me for six months. Pratap, just drop me here, please. I'll take you home? No, no. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. So, you're going to sit here and eat in this hole? I got my own food today. Ah, cheap and healthy. Can I... Who made it? The cook, of course. Wish I had someone to cook for me. I mean, this cook. Sad, no? <laughs> I even keep a bottle of whiskey under the chair in my office. If they find out, I am out. Whiskey? Big people's drink. 
rich western stuff. I thought you dislike it. I didn't say that. I like American culture and capitalism. I hate them making a fool of me. That's it. See, I imagine what the callers are like. What kind of lives they live. I know. What they... That's what's boring. They are the people with money, plans, a future. As I told you, simple and stupid people. But how do you know? They could also have debts and expenses and worries and mysteries. Things they don't understand. People they have to look after. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Manhattan Bank of Commerce. This I is Sue speaking. How may I assist you today? Hi, Sue. This is Ron. I'm yes, Remember? No, sir. We. Yes, of course. It's Mr. Stakowski. best customers of free credit card. And if you take the credit card, Mr. Stakowski, I'm just going to have to put you on hold. Never assume you know the person. Okay. Sir, I'm going to have to ask for some form of identification. Can you give me the issue number of your card and the zip code of your address? Uh, yeah, there's a card number four. Uh, hey, wait a minute, we've already been through this. It's for your own protection, sir. Okay, uh, the zip code is ZRK698. That's correct, sir. Now, how may I assist you? I want you to cancel her card. I want you to take her off of the account. Can you do that? If it's your account, sure. However... It's a joint account. Both our names are on the account. Well, then you'll need her consent. Sue, she is withdrawing all of the money. You got the account details on the screen. Uh-huh. The trip to London, that is me. The down payment on the studio, that is me. The next three items, all mine. Right. The next 16 are hers. Yes, she is going crazy. I, I mean, I'm in New York here. What the hell is she doing in Las Vegas? And who is? She's spending my money like water. And I mean, hey, maybe it's not a lot to you, but I'm sorry. Sorry, it's not your business. Yes, the music industry is tough enough, you know, and. Is there anything that you can do? Well, I have to ask my supervisor, sir. Great. You ask him. And tell him I'll hold. Well, I can't do that straight away, sir. You're going to have to call back in 10 minutes. No, no, don't do that. They'll reroute me to somebody who doesn't understand. As for me, sir. Yes, sir. Would you give me the details of the last transaction that you made? We sleep when they sleep. We work when they work. It's American daylight. Yeah. There must be something they can do. I mean, they don't get on when his wife is just looting him. Yeah. Look, I feel really sorry for him. You know how many accounts Stokowski has got? He's worth a couple of billion dollars. Yeah. I really feel sorry for him. I could cry. 72. So he's... Calculating the number of zeros in a billion. No, no. He's only 31 years old. I got four years to catch up. I made a start. I got this great job and a salary of $400 a month. His poor little wife. Zelda. Ah, Zelda. I said that he should ask for me by name. No. You are not going to take any call by name. It's not a dating service. Okay. Your shift is over. But what about Mr. Stokowski? Go home, Sue. You look exhausted. Go. How dare you, Ashok? How dare you? You were out. You are not supposed to come back. Well, thank God I did. Bringing that type of... She's my girlfriend. She's a prostitute, a painted slut. Shut up! She's not! Where else can we meet? 
can't even get married also. I didn't want to see your face. Not as ma. Pack your things and get out of our house. I said, pack your things and get out of our lives. Called for you. I told him Sue so is gone off shift. Then he asked where we are. Out of town, sir. We can't cancel your wife's car. We can't do anything for you. Read it. He flies to LA, mm. American Airlines, cab company for the day. He withdraws all the money from his joint account. Yeah, he starts a fresh account. Hotel, dinner, fancy restaurant. Four hundred dollars for one meal. He's combined business with pleasure. Lunch date back in New York. Zelda tries to pay for dinner. Mm. Korean Manhattan restaurant. Yeah. Card is refused. So how did she get out of that one? Maybe the boyfriend had money. Hmm. She tries the ATM twice. Tries again. The hole in the wall confiscates her card. She's puzzled. She puts in a call to us. We tell her the account's empty. How was your day? Fine. Restful. Good. Yeah. Sorry. I am. Um... I just had to move some accounts around. Happy Zelda Stokowski. Hi, flowers. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, they're from Dan. Hi, Dan. The flowers are beautiful. Uh, yes, uh, lunch with Lawrence. Can't talk. We'll call. Love you. <clears throat> Lunch with his floozy at... Wow. He's not tied with his girlfriend. His wife, I think. Zelda. How do you know? It was her birthday. A transfer of $10,000 to Zelda Stokowski. It's a cool birthday present. Hey, hang on. New account. She opened with the check number D398847474. His check. Great. So, Zelda's back with our man. I have to get back to work. I spoke to Wyatt today. Yeah? She's joined the photographers. She? Just one second. Yeah. I'll bring the car up. What are you doing here? It's your payday, isn't it? You forgive me, Sujata. I, I will drink. You're drunk now. What else can I do? Let me back home, Sujata. I worked and paid all those years. Your college. How can you forget all this? I did go to college and went there. I paid all those years. I want to save the money and send Ma to the hills, to the hospital. Clean air, good food, medicine. She's all we've got, Ashok. What about me? Get work. Then maybe. Okay. Please give me some money. after. We do that for a week and then we'll let you back home. 
थैंक यू This is the place where Zelda and Lawrence live. Their apartment. And this is his favorite restaurant when he is in New York. You see, payment to a courier company, Zelda sends parcel. The dispatch company called the Manhattan Rider. How does that concern us? It's a movie, isn't it? We work for global capital and and our reward, a glimpse of how the other half live. They are in our hands. See, this was very hard. The schedule sheet for Manhattan Riders. It's a courier company. Yeah, the dates on which Zelda sends parcels. Check it. And Mr. Stokowski's address, always to the same place. Manhattan Bank of Commerce. This is Sue speaking. How may I assist you today? Sue, can you tell me has my wife opened a new account with you? I'm sorry, sir. We cannot disclose that information. Please, Sue. This is very important. Just give me a yes or no. Mr. Sikaski, I can answer any queries on your account. Don't be so predictable. Where are you? We're out of town, sir. Uh, look, just say uh, if she has. Well, she has. Because I gave her a check for her birthday. This is just a, a sentimental request. You know? Have you got a Zelda Stikowski? I'm sorry, sir. Look, Sue, I will make this worth your while. I will send you a check now to whichever name you wish. This is very important to me. It's not as if I'm asking for the keys to the Federal Reserve. I already told you we cannot disclose that information. So the answer is no. Yes, I mean yes. The answer is no. Negative zip. Well, that is the best news that I've heard. What? You don't hand out information. You are unbribable. That is great. That uh, means that my account is safe with Absolutely, you. Absolutely, sir. You know, it's a shame that you're out of town because I would love to take you for a drink and celebrate your um. What do we call it? Your integrity. Not possible, sir. Yeah, yeah, I got that, Sue. Listen, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. Uh, no tricks, no tests, just bad. Yeah, see if you change your mind. I love your voice. Sitting on my table. Don't ever sit on my table. Don't ever sit on my table. Don't ever sit on my table. Come on, Ashok. I will drink and drown your sorrows. I don't have the stuff. Come on, drink. He's paying. I don't care who's paying. Turn Muslim or what? I need to win back some respect. <laughs> sure. First, win back some money. Okay. You already owe me five big one. Now it's going to be six. Come on.
मैं डॉक्टर को लाती हूँ Doctor to come home with me. My mother is very serious. Home visit only before six o'clock. Just look at the patients here, and the payment is in advance. But she is very ill. She might die. Don't say such things here. Just put the money down, and I'll talk to the doctor. Well, can I not talk to the doctor? I'll give you the money. Sorry, no. These are rules. I can't help you, sir. Don't be rude with me. Let's go on. Come on, buy a break. Two minutes. Good evening, sir. Can I speak to Sue, please? Uh, I have a problem with my account. She knows the details. We're taking a long time to explain. Sue is not here today. Maybe I can assist? Can I have your account on, please? Yeah, that's a rigmarole that I'd like to avoid. I'm going to call back later when Sue is there. We have an understanding. Thank you. My mother, she's ill, and the doctors—they just. Eight hundred uh, will do. Yeah. Her condition is very serious. She will stop responding to medicines if her environment does not change. Are you bahar baat karta? Do you cook in here? Well, what else can we do? you to answer a yes or no question about Zelda's account. Has she made payments to a law firm? I cannot disclose that information, sir. What? You give me a bank sort code, an account number, call me from a private line. By the time you do, money will be in your account. I'm not allowed to do that, sir. Look, um, I'm going to tell you something personal. She's draining me. She's arranging a divorce to clean me out. And I desperately need to know the name of her lawyer. This is my life that you're messing with, Sue. Um, I've got to go. If you cannot conduct this on this line, call me on 212-956-7431. And I will make it worth your while. Yes, Mr. Stokowski, I'll put out an order for that transcript. You have a nice day now. 6 a.m., time to go. We're out of here. Come, I take it.
Yes, Mr. Stokowski? Sue. I'm not at the call center. I'm calling from a payphone. So, um, now you can give me your bank details. No, Mr. Stokowski, that's not why I called. I don't have an American account number. What? I don't understand. You don't have an American account? Where are you? It doesn't matter, but I... I know your problem's been bothering you, and I just wanted to help. I don't want your money. Whoa, whoa, let's just take time out for my problems. Uh, where are you? It's against the rules. Let's forget about the rules. Uh, you're not in the office. Let's, uh, let's break the rules. I'm in Delhi, India. We do all the call center work for your credit card and others, and banks and insurance, and also sell things. Policies. You're Indian. I thought you didn't sound quite American, you know, but... Can you switch the accent off? You mean like this? Look, Mr. Stokowski, your wife Zelda, yes. She's made a payment to a firm called Van Gelder Elmanendi. $1,343 the last time. And once before, same kind of sum. And I will just have to play it. Why did you tell me this? Because you wanted to know. Because your voice was desperate. It must mean something. A lot. And it sounded like you were suffering. I know what that is. You know something? Now you've dropped the accent. I can read you better. Would you answer one question? I'll try. What is your biggest worry in life? Well, I'm supporting my family. My mother, really. She's got TB and I'm saving to get her to a hospital in the hills. You know, I don't think that I have ever done anything to help anybody. Tell me. How I can send your mother the money for treatment. Not for you. Not for anything that you've done. But for me. Why, Mr. Stokowski? So that I can feel more... human. I'd better go. And send me a photograph of yourself, please. Bill Botany, Lawrence Tukowski. Deal? Okay. How would you like to relocate to London? I will meet you here. I need a smart lawyer right here, right now, and for the long term. My girl Eva will call you with the travel details. Yes, London, UK. I hope you like tea. Tell Van Gelder I quit. Is something the matter, Bill? Yeah. I won the lottery. Wonderful, hold it. Okay, great. Now, very excited, really excited, really excited. Fabulous, smoky, smoky, smoky. Hold, hold, hold. Great, great. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Excellent. Okay, now look at the trees, look at the trees, birds. Wonder, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Fabulous. You know, I do wonder. What? I still don't know what your job is. I told you I'm a photographer's assistant. I just carry his equipment and sleep with him. Do you love me? Love him? Gee, are you kidding? He's a 50-year-old goat. Well, I got it. Great. Good trip. Took a big risk. You're clean. No one can get to you. You 
across the Atlantic. Well, it's done now. I want to do more corporate stuff. And I love London, so uh, I'm jumping ship. Well, welcome aboard. Come on, let's celebrate. You've been fantastic. I'm really sorry, Pat. I have tried to be regular, and I know that you... I'm not being sarcastic. I mean it. We are going to run a bonus scheme to make people stay. Golden handcuffs. Our competitors are taking our trained staff. We teach them American, and they steal them away. On your next pay, there will be a bonus package of 15,000 rupees, enough to pay the hospital for your mother. Yes, if it's true. I can't thank you enough. See, every printout tells a story, a more than one. She files for divorce. Who? Zelda. You're getting so familiar. Then a check from Mr. Stokowski, a big one to a Mr. B. Botany. Who's that? An employee of the famous Manhattan law firm of Van Gelder and Money Lee. Or shall I say, an ex employee. Pat, I don't know what you're talking about. Right? Someone told Stokowski that his wife was paying into a law firm and gave him their name. Then Zelda withdraws the divorce proceedings. Botney has gone over to Stokowski. She won't get much out of him. Who told Stokowski which firm Zelda was hiring? Maybe you can ask him next time he calls. He always asks for you by name, which is good. Imagine a stick with just one end. Imagine a circle that doesn't bend. Consciousness can never understand. I hear the clapping of a What I have done. I've wired the money to American Express in Delhi under your name, which they wouldn't accept. So it's under a code name, which is JKFIYE789329. I got ticket. I don't even know you. And... Go pick it up. It's for your mother, but you know that. I've also sent a cell phone to the Sony office. In India, it's waiting at reception again under your name, which I only know as Sue. It's actually Sujata Khanna. Sujata. That's a beautiful name. Finish the call. Write it again. I'm sorry. I actually mean it. Screw the company. Do what you want. It's okay. It won't happen again. I'm really Just sorry. Just break the rules. They have just refused us the bonus scheme. What? Head office says everyone's getting call blocking. Profits are dropping. No cash. Nothing for you. Sorry. I'm taking you to the cinema. But... No arguments. It's on the company. Kilal.
I just don't want you to get hurt. Why would I get hurt? It's just a business arrangement. Uh, he's bought a Lamborghini for her. A what? Expensive sports car. Maybe he's bought it for himself. Yeah, might be. Anyway, where is Lover Boy? How should I know? No, because he called you, so I thought, uh, did he buy it for you? What? Cell phone. How does it matter? I don't suppose the bills matter either. Pratap, I don't know what you think of me, but I pay my own bills. I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to know where is Mr. Stakaski? In London. Or maybe he's gone back to New York. I Sorry about the bonus. It caused you problems. Yes. You booked the hospital? Yeah. Jack shit. I did that. I'm crap. No, not you. Yeah, I know that too. Helpless. So, get it where you can. Go on. I know nothing about it. I can't ask him for the money. No, but if he's your friend, you can warn him. Tell him his chauffeur, Poincare, is in the pay of Zelda. He'll want to know that. His wife is paying his chauffeur to spy. Don't look at me like that. The devil knows everything. Just like God. So, go on. Call him now. Screw the company. Hi, it's Sue. I got your photograph. You are gorgeous. Uh, and I know you're too proud to ask, so I'm just gonna send you another check. Same numbers as before. No, no, I, I can't. This is for me, remember? <laughs> Lawrence. Your wife is spying on you. What? Where are you? London. Um, how? I think she's paying your driver. Uncle Lee? Yes. It's not. You call me back in a few hours. Okay. Bye. Why don't you two book a hotel and get it over with? Charge it to the company. I know I promised you to pay today, but I'm getting some work tomorrow. I'll pay you what I owe you. You have 24 hours to pay me. Amma, she's all right now, na? All right. The TB is eating her lungs. Oh, Marre, of course she's not all right. I told you what you have to do. If you want to come home, you just do it. I haven't had a drink. No drink, Sujata. Don't lie to me. I can smell you. Look at your clothes. Kya ho gaya hai tumhe? I was sitting somewhere and some people were drinking. Sitting somewhere? You think I don't know where you go? Amma won't let me in my own house because you have told not to. Can you give me two more rupees? No! 
Don't you come back to me. I don't want to see you again. You will regret it. It will come on your head. I am on the street, but I am not finished off as you want me to be. And the rats crawl out of the gutters. You think I can't touch you? Abhi to paanch hi baje. Wo aaj early shift hai na, isliye. Ab kisi ko mat aane dena. Oh ma, meri baat doctor Mehta se hui. They'll definitely give us a place if he says so. मुझे तो यहीं मरना है। not gonna die. I found the money, ना? He's like this because he feels helpless. आप बीमार हो और वो कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता। इसलिए तो वो पीता है। ये भी मेरा ही कसूर है। Oh, don't be silly, ma. You'll see. वो वापस आएगा। I'll bring him back. I promise you. Cell phone now. Where do you get the money? You are selling yourself, aren't you? Then coming here with no money and a swimming liver. I've been thinking, who the hell are you? What use is the life? It's my house. You can't treat me as though I'm dead. Look, you do not here. Then go inside and lock it. See what happens. I will smash the door. Go on, then you. You just get out. Here. I just want to buy a drink for you. I don't want your drink. Come on. Uh, what do you have? Two whiskey, please. Okay. With water. Hmm? Give him one. ढूंढते आए हैं मंजर कारावा दिल के लुटा ढूंढते आए हैं मंजर कारावा दिल के लुटा दूर तक साए खींचे हैं किन चरागों के खुदा दूर तक साए खींचे हैं किन चरागों के Hello, Lawrence. You are right. What? Tell the nose about you. The chauffeur. Take my conversations. Then she bought him out. I don't care. I'm glad. I am glad that we said intimate things to each other. Not that intimate. What do you mean, not that intimate? We use the L word. Well, at least I use the L word. My idea of love is someone who is there to listen and support and sacrifice. What happened to your marriage? Whatever, it's over. You know, I think you are the only woman who isn't out for what she can get. You are the spirit of generosity. I have nothing to give. There you go. That is the spirit of generosity speaking. What about your wife? You must have loved her once. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, maybe I was just being tricked even back then. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like just dumping it all, you know? Walk away. 
Wouldn't you? Yes. So, India. You know, I, I've, I've never been. And I would love to meet. No, you can't. I mean, of course you must come to India if you have to. Not have to. I want to. But I can't. Lawrence, you know what I'm saying. I... Please understand, I... 60,000 dollars. She withdraws it. Then no more petrol bills. $300 car hire, Florida. It means she sold the car and used the money. No smoking, no drink, no food, and definitely no sex. It's a world without joy. Workers of the world, go to hell. Not the way that we're bumping, tell you something, feeling good inside. It's the way I was moving, no illusion when I caught your eye. Allow me to mention my intention that's in store for you. Just turn out the light, get ready tonight, I'll show you what to do. Yeah, that was that was good. CK, that was good. Angel, that was good too. Um, the timing was just a little off. We're just going to run it again anyway because we're just warming up. So we're going to run from the top. All right. Hello. Why would Zelda sell the car? It was brand new. Wh who? What? What do you get for 50 big ones in Florida, Mr. Big Time? You can't buy a villa. Wait a minute, who is this? But you can buy an ocean of soda. Or you can buy a head. Maybe it's good buy to Kaski. What? Go for it. And then, bye bye. Hi, I know what you are up to. What you are about to do is bound to fail. You get caught in America. You get tried and tried. Remember, it's Florida. Death penalty. I'm hanging up if you don't tell me who this is. No, don't hang up on me. I have a solution. A real, no-risk solution. I'll call again. Who was that? I don't know. My privilege as the president of the record label to present the Shanty Bums with their first gold disc. 100,000 units straight out of the box. Let's hope there's more where that came from. Okay, what well, next move I think is to uh, get you guys out on the road. Make a nationwide tour, we'll move into Europe. Well, I think we are still number one after three weeks. Then I have a very special idea. I want to take you guys to Bombay and then on to Delhi. I want to do two massive shows in India. Documentary, EPK, ECD, DVD. I mean, everyone's going to want a piece of this. We'll give someone an exclusive, but uh, the news crews are going to be crawling all over each other to get to you. Cool, way to go. And what's absolutely amazing is you've gone from nowhere straight into the charts. With a philosophical number. Yeah. Do, do, do you write your own lyrics? I write them and then show the others. <laughs> the next thing to do is a really cool Indian club mix. DJ Vaughn. Yeah. yeah. It's Great. It's <laughs> and I'll go to Delhi, set this whole thing up. Perfect. Champagne. Congratulations. Excuse me. 
Do you work here? Yes, yes sir. Can you tell me, does this center handle the accounts for the Manhattan Bank of Commerce? Uh, we're not allowed to disclose any information, so I'm sorry. Okay. Can you tell me if a girl called Sujata works here? There would be many Sujatas, yes, sir. sir. Yeah, this one calls herself Sue. I, I think she'll be on the night yeah, shift. Yeah. I think that's her. Thank you very much. Okay. Sujata. Yes. My God. What are you doing here? We got a full house today. You can go sing. Come back when you like. He's my supervisor. No, it's fine. Nobody knows I'm a client. I traveled half a ways around the world to see you. I have to work. Yeah, sure. Um, I was thinking, like, maybe we could go for a drink or uh, get a bite. Your man there, he said, I said it was okay. He's not my man. I'm sorry. I thought you'd be surprised, you know. I am. You are? Great, well, get in the car. Get in the car. So uh, everybody is talking about these call centers. I read something in a newspaper. Uh, this woman said that it's uh, 21st century slavery. Hey, if that's the case, I'm here to set you free. Better money than writing for newspapers that nobody reads. You know, musicians, Americans, they used to come to India looking for gurus. You know why I came here? Looking for a girl with a phony accent. I still don't understand things. Well then, let's spend a few days together and I'll explain. I'm on um, a philosophical quest. I just want to see that you spend that money I sent you and your mother is cured. Now, why haven't you started on that, by the way? I was going to work. But why? It wasn't enough? I owed a lot of money and rent and my brother. That's okay. So let's make a start. Can I meet your mother? No. And Lawrence, I can't take any more of your money. Well, then you don't have to. I'll just write a check straight to the clinic. But why? Look, Mr. Stakowski, I'm not a charity case. I work. No, you, you, you're all wrong. I need this. I have money. You've seen my accounts. I just want us to become better friends than we already are. I just never expected. Then show me, India. So what's the story here? Who built this? It was built by a very great Mughal emperor called Akbar. But he had his flaws. His son fell in love with a court dancer called an Arkham. Great. It wasn't. The king said crown princes don't marry courtesans. So he sent his son off to battle, hoping that he'd forget or die and save the family honor. But he won all his battles and insisted on marrying her. King offered Narkali a bribe to go away. But uh, she said no. Uh, she wanted love, uh, not the money, like a soap opera. Am I right? Yes. And he sentenced her to death. He arrested his son and he incarcerated her, standing up brick by brick. Whoa. Hardcore. Get this guy to handle my divorce. You think he was right? I think he was uh, protecting his throne. Maybe princes don't marry call girls. Awesome.
I'll get an auto. I don't understand. I'm not coming with you. I'm not going to debrief the driver when he gets back. Why can't my car take you home? Why can't I take you home? Because I don't want you to. My life, it's shameful. Well, don't say that. Don't ever say that. What do you think I am? You won't understand, Lord. You're not used to this. Oh, what, not being stinking rich. You know, my dad, he used to break rusty cars for a living. Yeah, in America, this is different. Well, then give me a chance to catch up. Wait a minute. What are you hiding? You know why I have to have you followed. What you do with your life? Why don't you? It's not my world, Lawrence. Then show me your world. Because I sure as hell want to walk out of mine. And I don't want to go there lost. You asked me for my everything, and I gave you my word. But you never What do you want? your brother I'll take you and you'll have to pay for his debts by dancing naked in the bar for 10 years so much game you're staying here tonight it's okay I booked an adjoining suite there's no way you're going back there. It's really sweet. Thanks. What the hell is that? It's my brother. Stay in here. Lock the door. Tell him to come in. Call security. Who the hell are my you? My sister, she's with you! No, she's not! Get out of my room! Get up on the police! I've been told that you're pulling it on with her! Face it! You'll pay for this, you American bastard! You'll pay for this! Let me see. Oh I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't know what they've done to you. Oh, shh. Hey, hey, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Now we're setting out really early tomorrow for the mountains. None of this matters but to your mother and, um, you don't know where she is, right? No. No. 
Well, even if he does, then it won't make any difference. He's going to be detained for a while, right? Unless someone pays a bribe. He's not bad. He's just drunk. So, Mr. Pratap, how long have you known the valley? Um, we are childhood friends. Mm -hmm. Almost 20 years. Mm. Please sign here. Okay, he will be outside. Thank you, sir. Are you going somewhere? Ma has been admitted to the hospital in the hills. The lousy in Himachal. She went last night. Mm. So I'll go settle her in. Hey, son, oh, that Skorsky, has he checked out? Mr. Stakowski? Yes, sir, about four hours ago. You got my money? Good. In one hour, you know where. Yes, I have to go. I've arranged everything. Second payment on delivery of pay. I'll call you. What do you want now? Your man in India, expired. Who is this? I'm your guarantee that your job will be completed. Listen, madam. Here are my terms. I'll come to America. Me. I was told you were dead. Anyway. The boys have taken over, haven't they? And they don't want to come to the States with green cards. So, kid, I'm talking to them. They'll do. And you can go check off. And, uh... Don't try anything funny. I've got your voice taped. <laughs>
Ashok, we'll send for him. He'll come, ma. I will be there, no problem. Mm -hmm. For the train fare. You know, when I first met her, she was just a two-bit actress. I thought you said you loved her. No, she was just another possession, you know, arm candy. And she played hard to get. I won, felt good. Then straight away, it all became about greed. She turned ugly. Everything became about her pointless vanity. I've spoken to her, you know. What do you mean? Manhattan Bank of Commerce is a sweet thing. You can tell a lot about a client, by the way. Please. There's nothing I want you to tell me about Zelda. But I do want to know about you. What would you have done if I wasn't here? Life goes on. I would have still been earning, looking after Mom. No, I mean personally, like getting married. Who would marry me? I'm getting past that age when we Indians bribe someone to take our daughters on. And what have we, Ma, me, and Ashok got? You've got you. India's not romantic like that. You're wrong. There's so much love here. I've seen it. In films, yes. No, you don't understand. You, your mother, your brother. Where I come from, loveless parents, Loveless relationships, and they all turn nasty. Hi, what do you want? You have to meet me. But I'm in Dalhousie. I know, I'm here too. Look, I'm in the middle of something. It's very urgent. I beg you. Okay, where? Uh, restaurant in Milan. Uh, in 20 minutes. What's going on, Sujata? Nothing's going on. I don't know why he's come all the way here. Well, he must have said what this is about. Work. You don't ever need to work again. You don't ever need to see him again. You don't understand, do you? He's good to me. I know him. He sounded urgent. Maybe he's in trouble. Say anything. Just listen to me. There are some questions I I won't answer. But why? What's up? I'll tell you why. Get Lawrence on the next plane to America. Don't be silly. Get him out of India. Someone is trying to. He's not safe here. And don't go by car. Take a bus. Anything. No, no, wait a minute. What do you mean he's not safe here? It doesn't matter. Just do what I say. But if I'm not to understand, then why are you telling me all this? Because 
I don't want you to be hurt. You want to go with him to the US, don't you? He wants you, I know. Maybe I'll never see you again. You're serious? Yeah, deadly. So do what I'm telling you. Go. Thanks. Why am I running? What am I running from? Lawrence, I trust him. The guy is in love with you. He just wants me out. He knows that you won't leave your mother to come with me, even if I ask you to, which... which of course I am. But I'm not running. Lawrence, please, I don't know what this is all about, and he didn't tell me. I don't want to leave Mom. But I'll do it for you. Oh, Christ, he really scared you, didn't he? Okay, but we are not taking a bus.
Zelda sought her car to get her hands on some money to have you killed. And he told her that it would be easier, cheaper, no risk in India. Life is cheap. People get killed all the time. No one gets caught. Look, he might die. But if he doesn't, you're not going to set the FBI or whatever on him, are you? Are we? No, we're not. I'm still glad I came. He then set up my brother to fight you and humiliate you. Okay. Then call us back. No, not today. Tuesday. Hey. My broker called. Told me that call centers are a good investment. He says that they're solid and they speak English in Malaysia. Apparently, they're uh, rehumanizing contact. I spoke to Zelda, told her the game is up. Pat would confess at any time, and her days of contract killing are over. I think we might settle out of court. And, um, 
I've opened you a bank account. Figured you might work with me. Not answering telephones. Hey. Let me show you something. Sacrifice